The last year ESMO made an important advance by deciding and publishing a paper on the role of medical oncologist. Why this paper was needed? I think we are now seeing a paradox in medical oncology in that as our knowledge advances and we understand more and more about the disease, sometimes our treatments get simpler and you can get into the position of giving a pill to the patient for a very complicated disease. Treatment seems very simple and the patients get better. This is a reality that led to certain people believing that um, treatment of cancer can be delegated to other professionals that deal with the organ but not with the entire um, um, oncological field so to speak and we have seen actually a shift from um, the number of patients that were seen by medical oncologists versus organ specialists. We believe that uh, the complexity of medical oncology is such that indeed treatment can be simple but w the decision of when to give that treatment how to integrate that with the other modalities such as surgery, radiation therapy and to treat the patient as a whole is very important. This is part of what the medical oncology training is providing and minimizing that leads to the risk of the patient receiving not optimal care. To go to an example, um, unfortunately some years ago uh, this attitude led to the consideration of completely abolishing medical oncology training in my country, in Romania. Believing that all internists or all um, internal medicine specialists can treat all the type of cancers. Luckily that was changed after, after lobbying from ESMO, from uh, national societies, but that triggered a, um, our attention because um, th this meant that the role of medical oncologists was not fully understood. It's uh, our contribution in the shaping of the treatment of the patient was not fully recognized. That's why I do believe that this position paper is really important to try to show what um, um, medical oncology can bring to the patient. I do believe that um, mentioning and clarifying the position of what the medical oncology means will bring value to the treatment of patients across Europe. I think this uh, is important in Western and in Eastern Europe. As chair of the Emerging Countries Committee, um, I am fully aware and I'm pay paying more attention to the situation in, in this part of, the, of Europe. And I do think it's very important to have the feedback from our uh, colleagues working both in Eastern Europe and in Western Europe in, in trying to bring um, what they believe is important in their field of activity to the attention of ESMO. Uh, the ESMO National Representatives Committee has played a tremendous role in highlighting some of the discrepancies existing between the countries, highlighting uh, potential solutions, and I would say that this um, gathering of uh, people uh, has been the source for a number of very important projects that ESMO is now developing. I'm convinced that the work of the ESMO National Representatives Committee and the ESMO Emerging Countries Committee is very important and actually changed the way ESMO is acting at the international level. What I can see is that um, ESMO is becoming now a more of a player Usually we were more involved in uh, producing protocols and uh, trying to set up guidelines which is still a very important educational component of what ESMO is doing. But as a result of input received from the ESMO Emerging Countries Committee, from the ESMO National Representatives, ESMO is entering the field of trying to really change things. And for that I am uh, very grateful for what the ESMO National Representatives are doing and the ESMO Emerging Countries Committee.